Hey everybody, it's Coach Jessica. I want to take a few minutes today and talk to you about what we are working on this week. I did post the agenda in the group, and so um, you can take a look at that. But this week, I think, is one of the most important weeks to dig into with intuitive eating. Um, and the thing that I'm asking you to do, just want to give you a heads up, of course, we're going to have our live call on Tuesday night. But I wanted to give you a heads up and really take some time and write down in the next couple days the times that you can reflect and know that you ate when you weren't hungry. So, for example, I'll give, I will share some things. Social pressure, um, an event, uh, a holiday, um, you were emotional. Um, you know, so, so everybody has their specific reasons that they eat. We're going to introduce you to a concept called HALT. I love, it's actually H-A-L-T, but actually the word HALT spells out stop. Like stop what you're doing because, um, you're about to eat emotionally or for a reason other than true hunger. Um, and I know you'll talk more about this on Tuesday night. But this has been an important concept in healing with my eating disorder and also with reeling in um, hunger when I'm not really, really hungry. Because even on keto, you can overeat. Uh, sometimes people think it's a free-for-all and it isn't. What we want you to be able to do is eat intuitively to your real hunger. So HALT stands for hungry, angry or anxious, lonely, and tired. Those are the top four reasons, emotional reasons that people eat. If you find that you are about to scarf down food and you are in one of those red zones, either too hungry, too angry or anxious, too lonely or too tired, stop and check your hunger. Slow down. Um, it isn't just that the situations where we are hungry, angry or anxious, lonely or tired, um, sometimes there are people who trigger us. We're around a stressful situation. Your boss comes in, someone in your family that you don't get along with, and you find that you are eating. So I really, really think it's important that you take the next couple days and prepare for that call so you can ask some questions uh, live. Um, because again, this is one of the number one pieces that you're going to learn in this course is identifying your hunger and is it coming from a place of emotional eating or do you really need to eat? So I uh, hope that helps. Hope that gets your wheels spinning and you're ready to write. Feel free to share uh, in advance of the call if you'd like to do that. But that's what, what our big focus is going to be this week. Talk to you soon. Bye.